There we go. All right. Yay. Let's see. Do I see us? Oh, I see us. We are there. We are there. We are there. Let's see. I'm going to add it to my timeline. Da -da 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 all right. Ah, well, I think we are live or about to be that way. So let me go on back to my page <laughs> and make sure we're up here. We've done our sharing. I wanted to share it with my people over on my personal page and also make sure that I'm on the You Ask Good Men Answer page, doing our sponsor spotlight. Let's see here. See if I see us, uh, Susie. It's churning, it's churning. I think we're, I think we're up here. Let's see. I find this so fascinating. Ah, oh, there we are. Yay! <laughs> Very good. I see us. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, well, hello, everybody. This is Suzette Viernon. I am your relationship solutionist with a music math approach to dating and relating, and also the organizer and host of You Ask Good Men Answered, fourth annual virtual summit. And I am so pleased and proud to be sharing this virtual stage with none other than Susie Lynette Sanders, the owner of Something by Net, and also a proud sponsor of You Ask Good Men Answered Virtual Summit. Welcome, Susie. Hi, thank you. <laughs> I am so glad you joined me today. I wanted to have a sponsor spotlight. And the reason that I wanted to have that is because the sponsors are so important to the summit. This is our first year actually having um, sponsors. Oh. You know? and so, and it was just one of those things where I was perusing Facebook like normal. And I went to certain pages. You know how you can go to somebody's page that has a post by somebody else on it? Yes. And you see the product on their page and you just go, go absolutely bananas. <laughs> and that's what happened. I somehow or another found myself perusing Facebook. And that's the way I did it with some of the others. But you were a special case. Huh. I remembered being at an event that Jennifer Harris was hosting. Yes. And I ended up seeing you. <laughs> and you had this lovely jewelry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazing jewelry. And I remember I was doing my work and it just popped into my mind. I got to get in contact with that lady that had that great jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And I sent Jennifer a private message on Facebook and I said, Jennifer, who was she? Oh, she had that gorgeous jewelry. Who was she? And she gave me your name. Oh. And that is exactly how I connected with you. I appreciate that. I appreciate two things. I appreciate that you have exquisite jewelry and exquisite taste. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. And I also appreciate that I'm your first. <laughs> yes, yes. And you don't have to tell everybody how I am your first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
So tell everybody how, what I mean by that. Okay. Okay. Well, this is my first Facebook live. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So proud of you. So what was it that made you decide to, because I know for a lot of people, it's very scary. Yes. You know, it's very scary. I could feel your hesitation <laughs> you know, when I posted it to you. But what made you decide to just throw caution to the wind and just do it? Because it's time. I, I'm behind. I, I should have did it a long time ago. <laughs> it's just time. It's time. So, and, and actually, I, it was, I was waiting for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what? I'm so serious. I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I was your connection. <laughs> I was your connection. Oh my God. Which really, you know, it it really also says a lot to me about you, not just as a person, but you as a business owner. Because one of the things that I really, my intention when I was talking to different potential sponsors was first of all to, to talk to somebody that I wanted their stuff. <laughs> that was like, I want it. If y'all, hey, I like it so much, I want it. And the other part of it was that I wanted people of integrity. I wanted people with integrity. Okay. And I did not... Um, I didn't have a lot to go on because everybody that I talked to, I talked to online. Okay. I didn't get a chance to like meet them. Right, right. And so what stood out was number one, Jennifer Harris is a very quality person. Yes, yes. And her endorsement of you already put you way up oh. in my mind. And, and, but I've been in this situation, I don't know if you have too, as a businesswoman, where you recommend somebody to somebody else <laughs> and it doesn't quite go like you were hoping it would go. Right. Your experience with them is not the other person's experience of them. Right. But with you, you exceeded that. Um, well, thank you. Thank you. You truly did. So what? is it what is your your principles that you do business by well i'm like you um i'm not going to purchase anything that i'm not going to want myself mm -hmm. so i guess you can imagine i have a lot of jewelry <laughs> personal jewelry <laughs> yeah uh, but basically i mean i like i mean i like quality even if it's you know i want it to be whatever it is to be the best you know, mm -hmm. I could have the quality control part in there too. And then you want, and then plus you want good customer service. You know, I love having great customer service. So I want to give great customer service. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you, you, when it's funny, because I, we were talking, you know, we were talking via uh, computer. And I asked you, you know, to please, to send me your best, send me something you'd want yourself. And that was kind of a tall order from somebody that you had not met before. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, but I want to, whatever comes from me, I want it to be the best. <laughs> mm. So what was it about this summit that made you want to be a sponsor and made you want to send your best to it? First of all, just the, what you do, and then the subject as far as letting people know, you know, how men feel about things. Because a lot of times, I mean, we as women, we can assume things, but it's good to hear it from the men. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hear, you know what's going on. And I know there's a lot of good men out here. And there's a lot of women don't think so, but there are. There's a lot of good men out here. And so I want them to be heard. <laughs> Yes, and that's exactly, that's exactly it. I wanted the men to have a voice because what they say, I don't know the exact statistic, but they say that to a man's, what, 
500 words, we we speak 50,000 or it's some kind of... <laughs> right, I understand. It's, yeah, yeah, it is it's like, <laughs> we, they, you know, to their one thing, we, we, right. we have them beat when it comes to being able to talk. We can out right. talk the best of them. Right. And right so many times because men speak differently mm -hmm. and maybe at a slower pace mm -hmm. or don't say it the way we women think they should say it, a lot right. of discount the validity of what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And so you're right. I wanted to have a platform for men to be able to be heard. Yes. And I realized also, you know, from being in a relationship, when you're triggered or you're upset or you're having a disagreement, a lot of times you're not hearing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to kind of take a step back. Right, right. And then sometimes it takes an objective third party. That's true. To kind of help you hear what the other person is trying to say, but mm -hmm. because it's them, you just can't hear it. Mm -hmm. and the other person says, no, I think what he's trying to say is this, you know, or I think what she's trying to say is this. And so I felt like with having a summit of men that these women were not in relationships with, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, they could speak on behalf of men. Right but also help women to understand what motivates men, what makes them say what they say, what makes them do what they do, mm -hmm. you know? Because a lot of us, we've had fathers and brothers and uncles, but very few of us have had those that have really taken the time to teach us how men actually tick. Uh. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you don't really know that, it can be just, it can, the communication can be like, you're speaking English and he's speaking French, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and you don't understand. Or like it is for people that come from other countries and they learn our language, they can learn the way to speak our language. They can learn words and make word associations, but if they don't understand our culture. That's true. They don't understand our context. If they don't understand our frame of reference, mm -hmm. they don't get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that when it comes to relationships, our ability to understand the context, to understand where men are coming from, mm -hmm. you know, that it right. makes relating better. And so that was that was my premise behind it. And then also being, you know, over 30 and just being tired of seeing women in their 40s and 50s and 60s still grappling. Right. Still grappling, still struggling, mm -hmm. making great strides as business women and business men and you know, raising their children single-handedly and doing all these great things in the world. But their relationships suck. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Well, we and, appreciate you. We appreciate you doing this. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much. And I appreciate you being a part of this. Oh, I I love you believing in what you heard of me before you could even have an experience of me. You know, I, I appreciate that. And I can, and I, I just, I know this summit is better because of sponsors like you. Oh. I mean, even the ladies that have uh, won, they've won two pieces of your jewelry. Just, I give this FYI for those who are listening and those who will listen to the replay. <laughs> I've got one more piece <laughs> of jewelry because this is something, this is something about you, uh, Susie, that really struck me. I only ask you for maybe one piece of jewelry. You sent me three. <laughs> well, I mean, for real, you sent me three. That was so special. And they were all exquisite pieces. I mean, I looked at them and I was thinking to myself, dang, hmm, man, I want this for myself. I was imagining my little black dress with her right. pieces around it. Uh -huh. You know, and just a heads up for those listening, for those who are registered, 
there is one more piece of jewelry for our pop-up giveaways. And it's these gorgeous pearls. It's a very contemporary rope type of pearls that I'm telling you are stunning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and some proud person is going to win them, but you have to register. And I've got the red, I've got the uh, link www.goodmenanswer.com in the description. You have to register. Now I want you to register because you're interested in the summit. Don't get it twisted. Right. I want you to register because you're interested in the summit. But the added incentive is what the sponsors have brought this year. Because I wanted it to be fun, Susie. I wanted people to have an experience. Yes. I wanted yes. them to have an experience. Because you know relationships is a tough topic. That's true. That is true. Yes. Yes. You know, most people, when they, you know, talk about relationships, it's like painful. <laughs> oh. You know, I, or the girlfriends I, are trying to help them. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. And so I wanted to make this experience surrounding conversations about relationships and care fronting areas of ourselves that need to grow. I wanted to create an experience of laughter, of joy, you know, of love, of support, of excitement, because I tend to learn better when I can associate something positive. Yes, yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. So now tell us a little bit more about your business. Let's see. Uh, my business is six years old. Huh. And actually, it is my plan C that changed to plan A. <laughs> okay, tell us more. <laughs> um, actually, I started off part time, you know, doing the business part time. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, I believe in having multiple avenues of income coming in. Mm -hmm. So at one particular time, this was kind of like my third avenue of income coming in, but now it's like the main avenue of income, income coming in. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said it changed from um, C to A. <laughs> and I, I really enjoy it. I really, you know, I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy seeing their faces when they look at the jewelry and it's like, oh, and they see the, see the jewelry on themselves. I love that. I love that. And then when I get a response back telling me that, you know, I got a lot of compliments about it. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. And not only do you have jewelry, what else do you have? You have pocketbooks and, and what yes, else? Um, well, the jewelry and also handbags. Mm -hmm. And actually, I usually have the handbags uh, due to I do like vending events and um, home parties. Mm -hmm. So it all depends on what the event is asking for as far as like, you know, if they want jewelry, if they want handbags. Or if the person is having a home party, if they want more handbags and jewelry, and I can order, you know, either way type thing. Mm -hmm. And also, I named the company Something by Net because when I first started out, I started off with jewelry. But I really wanted to, I may want to change it up, you know, because maybe a customer may want, um, you know, um, something else, maybe like um, rings or um, shoes or clothing. You know, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to limit myself to the name, just meaning just jewelry. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just put it as something by net. So you had vision. You made, yes. made space for a, a greater a greater vision. Yes, yes. Oh, man. Well, you know, it's very interesting because there are a lot of people out here who are hustling, trying to build their dreams, trying to make it happen. And so I find it absolutely intriguing and exciting that your plan C became your plan A. So yes. do you feel like it just kind of, there's something by net picked, picked you and as a result of it picking you, it's just working or was it, did you have to work hard at it? Um, no, I mean, I'm thinking, well, I really didn't have to work at it. Um, if, if anything, I've, since I like to do a lot of different things, it's kind of hard for me to kind of narrow it down to uh, a certain item or product type thing. 
Mm-hmm. So I think that's one reason too why I decided to name it something by net because I'm like, okay, I'm thinking about all the stuff I can do, but let me just have a business name that'll cover all of that <laughs> type mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, but so I enjoy, I enjoy working with people. Oh, great! So is something by net purely online, or do you have a brick and mortar location? Ah, uh, good question. Um, at this particular time is online. Um, again, I do like vending events and then um, home parties. Now I've been thinking at one particular time I did have an office space, but I found that at that particular time I was doing more vending than being in the office. Mm-hmm. So at that particular time I needed to just come from the office and just vent. Mm-hmm. But I'm also still thinking about maybe having the office. So it's kind of like it's still kind of up in the air as far as if I'll go back to office type thing but for right now I do more vending so it took a lot for me to then bring everything back or you know and then you know pack it back up and take it back out that type thing (laughs) yeah and you know what in this day and time there's so many possibilities of ways we can do business yes yes internet and this new climate all the apps and all these things I mean I think people are starting to find flexibility that it doesn't have to necessarily be a brick and mortar. You know, right. food trucks that are doing just as well as some restaurants are doing. That's you true. Know, got people, I know um, even one of the things, uh, my chiropractor that I utilize, uh, she does it through a mobile service. Oh. She has a portable table. And when I call her, she brings her portable table and adjust me okay. and I don't even have to leave home so there's something to be said about this new way of doing things you know how you used to have where the your doctor used to come to your house your yeah. doctor used to make calls, <laughs> house calls <laughs> now it's like people are able to make house calls or able to go into these places where a lot of people gather mm-hmm. you know and do so much with it so I, I admire your, if you were to have one piece of advice that you want would give to someone who is endeavoring to start their own business, what piece of advice would you give them? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I would say basically stay focused um, but also write down, and I'm, I'm still in the process of doing this, write down all of the things that you want to do. I mean, I guess basically you have like your goals and then your vision, um, but keep dreaming. Um, and don't limit yourself. Um, again, I said, you know, I like having multiple avenues of income coming in. Um, so, I mean, you can you can even start off with one particular area, but that's not saying that you got to stick to just that one particular area as far as business is concerned. Mm-hmm. Um, there could be like smaller business that come off of that main business type thing. So just, I guess just be open. Be open. Yes. And just stay focused and, and stay positive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard somebody say, if you don't have a smiling face, you should not open the store. <laughs> Well, that's, they have a point with that. <laughs> yeah, the smiling face. So uh, I, I know I have your uh, link to your business in the description, but what other ways can people get in contact with you? Um, okay, so basically online, the website, which is somethingbynet.com. I also have Instagram, which is somethingbynet, well, instagram.com slash somethingbynet. Mm-hmm. Uh, Facebook also you can come up by something by net as well yeah and, and then let's see and I guess if yeah I think that's pretty much it yes and, and I can vouch for her on Facebook she responded very quickly <laughs> to my private message to her so I appreciate that and I, I appreciate that you were I didn't have to do a lot of convincing and selling you on it I just told you what my vision was and you were like yes yes no yes so you were my next it's like I was I was your first in this Facebook live but you were part of my first when it came to having sponsors for you asking oh, okay. 
and I appreciate just how warm and how involved you've been. I, I think that makes such a big difference when people sponsor things and they, they give you what they give you and they go away somewhere, but you have been a part of this process and a part of this experience in a way that has really reinforced the validity of it and that I, I am I am on the right road with this. So I appreciate you so much. Well, and, I appreciate you thinking about me. <laughs> uh, and anything that I can do to help infuse your vision, just let me know. And uh, I look forward to the, re the, the next two weeks where <laughs> things are going to accelerate with the summit and being able to share this summit with you. And you'll be able to see all that was going on in the background to bring all this together. And I'm just so glad that you'll be a part of this experience with me. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Fantastic. And you all know how I like to leave things. You don't need everybody, just the right somebody. Later, y'all. <laughs>